Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 4 video. Now this video is going to be one that I think you guys are going to enjoy. Basically, I'm going to do a deep dive into the tactical rifles of this game because I've now finished uploading a class setup video for every single tactical rifle and I've done this for SMGs and ARs as well. I've done, I think I still have to do the SOG 9mm class setup, um, but that's about it for the SMGs. And basically what I do is I'm uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about every single one of these tactical rifles. Now, there is only three of them, um, and I'm going to talk about what I think is the best one and the strengths and weaknesses of each of them. And if you guys want to see specific class ups for each of the, the guns, class ups are up on my channel for each of them. So if you guys could smack a like, 1,500 likes would be amazing. Smash that like button if you guys could. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and not already subscribed. And let's get right into it. So the three tactical rifles, and now some people are going to say, what do you mean the best one? There's only three of them. Yes, there's only three of them, but... These tactical rifles at the state of the game right now are so damn good that I think it deserves a video to talk about because these, I mean, assault rifles and tactical rifles are the best classes of weapons in this game right now, pretty much bar none. And that's because the weapons are so good at range and even so good at close range. And you can sort of manipulate the bullets to kill on different ones of these weapons. So uh, drop a like. As far as these tactical rifles go, it's the Augur DMR, the ABR-223. The Augur DMR is your semi-automatic gun. Then you have the ABR-223, which is your three-round burst. And then you have the Swordfish, which is your four-round burst. So that's basically how how you're going is you have essentially everything in your kit here because the auger with uh just the plain auger is a semi-automatic which is basically one bullet at a time the auger with the operator mod though becomes a two round burst and then of course abr is a three round burst swordfish is a four round burst and then swordfish with uh its operator mod is a penta burst so you have everything from a one round burst to a five round burst in the setup there's so many different ways to run these tactical rifles and of course first of all to say i, I want to say that in a hardcore tactical rifles are overpowered it's pretty much a one shot or one burst kill every single time and in hardcore these are probably going to be one of your favorite weapons to go to however in core it's a little bit different and uh, i'll talk about the the sort of bullets required to kill of each of these weapons depending on the the ranges right because it all depends on the range so essentially with the auger dmr um normally it's going to be a three bullet to a four bullet kill the ABR is going to be a four bullet to a five bullet kill, and the Swordfish is going to be a five bullet to a six bullet kill. So taking in those numbers, basically the ABR and the Swordfish are going to be two burst kills essentially every time from most ranges, as long as you are hitting your shots. And the Augur DMR is going to be a three tap kill. So that's without any sort of extensions added onto the gun. So by basing off of that, as far as the base weapons go, the auger is probably not the best, but I believe the auger is the best tactical rifle because of what you can do to it and because of how you can manipulate it. So basically the auger DMR does, um, and let me pull it up right here. The auger DMR does 62 damage per shot, right? So 62 damage per shot. So it's going to take three shots to kill a person based off math. However, with the high caliber, you do a hundred, 108 damage per shot to the head so one shot to the head and then one shot to the body will kill it you know a person with 150 health two shots to the head will kill a person with um will kill a person with more health than that even with 200 health and the way about the auger if you saw from my class setup is how i run it with the operator mod that turns into a two round burst and i run high caliber essentially as long as i hit one headshot in the burst and then the second one could be a body shot or whatever i'm getting one tap kills a lot of the time with the auger now that was with my my class setup video with this gameplay here i was using a different setup completely i was running high caliber one and high caliber two and and long barrel and that basically creates the same setup where instead of a one burst it's just two taps of the trigger as long as I'm able to hit one of those bullets to either the head or the upper body so you guys see now because of the ways that you can do the auger and manipulate the sort of damage per bullet this gun essentially becomes a one burst kill sometimes or a two burst or two tap kill pretty much all of the time which is a lot more reliable than those other ones where you know when you're shooting one bullet it's easy to keep track of one 
one bullet when you're shooting a burst of four or five it is hard to keep track and that's why i think this tactical rifle it, the auger is the best tactical rifle in the game as of right now this game reminds me a lot of black ops 2 and this gun reminds me a lot of the fal which was a go-to pick of the pro players when the game first came out and eventually was i believe was it banned or just nerfed heavily or something like that it was they dealt with it somehow to get it out of the pro circuit because everyone was sort of abusing and using the fal because of how strong it is and i do think this is the best tactical rifle just because of turning that three shot kill into essentially a two shot kill or even a one pull of the trigger kill now when it comes down to you know if you don't like semi-automatics or you don't like this two round burst with an awkward gun it'll come down to the abr versus the swordfish and these weapons are just so damn similar to compare to be honest i mean the swordfish has i believe 36 rounds abr has 30 rounds but other than that these are pretty much similar you're going to be getting two round burst kills the majority of the time with either of these weapons and the occasional three round burst but you'll never get a one round burst kill unless the enemy is weak of course or if you run penta burst with the swordfish the thing with running that though is you do have to invest a lot into it and sure you can get one burst kills with the five shots to kill but it's only at close range and if they're essentially not standing still but sort of not moving too much where you can hit because it takes time for all five since you pull the trigger for all five of those bullets to connect so if you know you are playing some people that really don't know what they're doing and standing still the swordfish pentaburst can become a machine but between these two weapons which one i think is better honestly i don't know and it kind of depends on personal preference and what you want to do with the setup um it, with the swordfish setup uh, the swordfish you know it all depends you could do the penta burst and go for the occasional one burst kill you could do the abr repeater where you have to hold down the trigger and it rapid fires over time or you could just put these weapons if you put these weapons against each other with the operator mods i really think it does come down to personal preference and what the person wants to get out of the setup and what they're comfortable with um but based on the operator mods the uh abr reminds me of like a better version of the xr2 i gotta make sure i say better version because the xr2 was not very good compared to the m8 and black Ops 3, but the ABR is definitely better than that. That's what it sort of reminds me of, though, with that operator mod. But even putting these guns up against each other, there's different strengths and weaknesses to both of them. I mean, that's really all it comes down to. Um, with the, you know, your your rate of fire with the ABR is going to be a little bit faster, of course, because you are, but then at the end, on the other hand of it, you're only shooting three bullets instead of four. Your damage per bullet is going to be a little bit higher with the ABR. It's going to hit for 38 per bullet, I believe it, is, instead of 34, and that's at close range. But once again, that's shooting less less per burst and when it comes down to it time to kill on an enemy just you know on a, on a bot just standing there time to kill with the abr will be faster than the swordfish but the swordfish with penta burst would be the fastest combo out of basically anything if you are to hit that one burst um you know which you, you can hit one burst with it it's just it's you know you have to hit all five bullets essentially with the swordfish because that is the minimum to kill these are some things that i definitely recommend you guys check out though if you guys have been rocking with the assault rifles and you guys don't really you know mind using a burst or a semi-automatic i think they did the tactical rifles very very good in this game and when the game first came out i was honestly not to say ignoring them but i was just so so enamored and, and, and messed with the icr so much in the vapor because those guns are so good once you try them out you're like oh there's no point in trying anything else out but then you realize hey they may have increased the health to 150 in this game but they gave us some damn overpowered and super powerful weapons to take people out and that's what i was able to do you can see here um in my in auger best class up i went 90 to 3 with the auger um, while using the, the two tap feature, the double tap um, feature. And then in this game, I was just running a different setup, uh, trying it with double high caliber and long barrel, because I was trying to decide which I think is better, which I do think the two tap is better. But I knocked out another great gameplay. I think this one is a 76 to 6. So uh, there's multiple combos you can run with the auger. There's multiple combos you can run with the other weapons. These weapons are so, um, you know, traditionally what they do being good at long to medium range you can't change that up but you can sort of customize do i want to run a flak jacket tack mask here do i want to invest everything into the operator mod there's a lot of customizability with these setups and um one other thing to mention about tactical rifles that um even though i do think this one is the best the auger it does not come with a stock and stock is something that you can um get on the abr and i can't remember off the top of my head right now if you can get it on the swordfish or not um i, I don't think you can so that's another strength to the abr 
ABR right there. So that might put the ABR above the Swordfish. Like I said, it all depends what you want. And they did. I wouldn't say the gun balance overall in this game is good because some of them IC, uh, ICR and stuff is just so overpowered. And some of the SMGs are so underpowered. But they have a lot of overpowered guns. So if you if you want to call that good balancing, you can. Um, that's basically what I say. Do you do you want a gun that you can stock with and strafe with? Uh, you know that then you probably want to go with the ABR. Do you want a gun that's just gonna powerful burst people down? kind of like the m8 then the swordfish but i definitely think the auger is the one that people are sleeping on give this thing a go try it out with double high cal uh and then try it out with the operator mod and just single high cal let those things sink in and uh, give it a try drop a like on this thing if you guys could uh the setup for this one was double high cal and long barrel as well so i don't know if that helped with the two tap kills but uh it probably did thanks for watching guys um but i, I do recommend the two tap i do recommend you guys watch the class setups for all of these ones and uh, drop a like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one i'm out peace